Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the tenth episode of the All of All Smart Podcast. I'm your host, Christian Kato. This is also Adrian Kaswani. We're Hi. also a host. We are happy to be here, and yeah. as always, we have some things to take care of, and that is for shorter business. Our national days. Yeah. How's week? First, good. National Horse Day. National Horse Day. National Hot Chocolate Day. Dave the Horse. National, hot Cocoa. National, uh, what was the other one? Find a philanth- Phila- philanthropist pal day. Philanthropist pal? Is that philanthropist pal? I mean, you have it on there. I do. <laughs> You're using a tint. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, we just need to know what the days are, Ooh. and then we're it. There we go. Okay. Coco Day, Violin Day, Violin uh, Pathologist, Day of yeah. the Horses, okay. Pick a Pathologist Day, a National Guard Birthday. Happy Birthday, Guard. Yeah, uh, National Guard. And also, if you play the violin, good on you. Mm-hmm. Emmanuel Victor. Violin playing extraordinary. Adrian used to play the violin, fun fact. Lol. La, la. But now, All right, it's all over. All right. Which is actually bringing us to our first point. Adrian, we have a very topic. interesting. I'm looking at my document right now, that's and a, that's we a, that are a talking about. Document. You know, what, let me get my document through. out. It, we're talking about life changes. Yeah, and you know, kind of facing the unexpected, how to handle that. You know, all about just things that don't usually come up. Yeah, typically on a daily basis, and you know, unexpectedness. Life. The funny thing is, when we think we have control over everything. Life is a whole game where everyone doesn't know the rules and we're just trying to get by hoping that we're doing a good job. And anything can happen yeah. at any point. COVID is so, a good example. Exactly. COVID. None of us, well, kind of, some of us didn't know that COVID would be happening. Yeah. I mean, it's it happened. I didn't know it would happen. And that kind of threw a wrench in a lot of things. But yeah. it's, all about, it's all about how you dodge or catch the wrench that matters. Boom. So that was you know, solid. we're going to talk about that. So first, how to handle them? How well, do you handle the things that should we do that one first? We We're going to talk about that. Yeah. How to handle them, the importance of them, and what we can. Oh yeah, because you have the order right them. here. So how to handle them, the importance, what Correct. we learn. Yes. Cool. All right. So I guess handling them. Do you want to sort of give an, uh, like an anecdote or an, or an example, sort of to yeah. frame this in a better way? So. Guess what? Like, think, what's a life change that you've gone through recently? Maybe oh, personally, apart from COVID, because COVID's kind of like it affects us all. I think we've all yeah. You don't really have a choice in COVID, you know? Yeah, that's it's just sort of there. It's that's something that's happening. gonna stay, but maybe, maybe I don't. You, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything that's huge. That's like, oh my, this this changed my life. Yeah, completely made just small changes. Uh, I mean, that pretty much happens every everybody um so far i'm yeah i i can't think of any this the slightest one that i can think about is the news of california being back on lockdown again you know what that's a good one to talk about which i thought we were already that's a good one to talk about yeah what about you my dad uh he was my mom and my dad they were driving down byron i don't know i didn't know about this but i guess they have a huge sign on byron by one of the the guys who has land out there it's mm-hmm. this huge sign that says F. Newsom. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to take a picture it's of that. Very vocal. Very vocal. About his thoughts. Oh, yeah. Definitely. For it's sure. Farmers, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. It's, it. I just thought that was a funny story that I heard about today. But, I yeah, mean, apart, as, as far as change goes, like the um, the lockdown, I guess the best way that you can handle it usually is with your mentality, you know? Because it can always shift depending on how it affects you physically or financially, materially, really. But I mean, if you can have a good mindset going into it, generally speaking, that's you're going to handle it better than others who don't have a good mindset. You know, I think that's sort of a constant that I've seen with people who have to deal with like unexpected things coming up. Mm -hmm. If they have a good mentality already, usually they're going to fare better, you know. I think mm-hmm. at least that's been my experience. I don't know yeah. about you, but so I mean, I, just having, and that mindset can vary, but it, it mostly revolves around n- knowing that things aren't certain, you know, things aren't mm-hmm. for sure most of the time. So it, 
it's even if you're a planner like me, like I'm a big planner, for example, I plan, but I know that my plans don't necessarily, just because I write them down on a piece of paper, doesn't mean it's going to fall out that way, right? I know that going in. So even when I have a plan and it doesn't go the, the way I thought it would, I already knew that going in, that that was a possibility. So it doesn't hit as hard, mm -hmm. you know? So, but for example, if you were someone who planned a lot and you just believed wholeheartedly that all these things are going to happen the exact way you want them to, and it doesn't, mm -hmm. I can see how that could be a bit more catastrophic. Yeah. You know? So like for the lockdown, for example, you could be one of those people who is sort of playing by ear, watching the news or something like that. I personally don't pay any real attention to the news because they don't really do that good a <laughs> job most of the time. Um, and social media outlets, I usually just make sure that I'm focusing on my area and what's affecting me immediately, you know, cause that's going to be, you know, the most detrimental possibly if things go wrong. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think the best mentality to have is to understand and kind of have it just sort of locked away in your brain that things aren't necessarily, at least a lot of them aren't set in stone and certainly our future plans or what we think are going to happen are just that they're just our thoughts right what you think is going to happen mm -hmm. is nothing more than a thought in your brain right there, there, there's no actual substance there in the outside world that just exists in here so if you can get kind of get past the idea that things are going to go an exact way you can generally deal with sudden changes a whole lot quicker right so that's so. like things leading up to when they actually happen like yeah. how so that's the, best that's like the preventative okay you know? yeah yeah and so now so that's a good that's a good point to bring up it's all about having that intent behind you know what is it's like kind of like a like when you're driving a car mm. and you know one's gonna have an accident just an analogy yeah. you'd rather have one that has like the best safety features behind it knowing that there's gonna be a crash or knowing mm. someday there'll be a crash compared yeah. to you know not having one so somewhere in that analogy mean. probably is some um, good advice best to go into it knowing and having the tools that you have to be yeah. like oh okay but that is Start. that is kind of preventative though i mean that's yeah right. you're right this is assuming that you that the sudden the sudden change hasn't happened yet mm -hmm. so if you're still kind of coasting in life for example and you're you know things aren't going crazy for you i mean i know things are obviously weird mm-hmm but if you're relatively stable, I think it's beneficial to get that mindset of anything can change and have that add up, uh, be able to adapt, you know, to certain situations accordingly. But it, what happens if you are too late, you didn't take those mindset preventative measures, and now you're just fully into a sudden change? Like, what do you think you do when that something like you're in that, that scenario? It hasn't for some people, it hasn't happened yet, but in this scenario, it has. Mm -hmm. it just kind of in the midst. Sudden change, you found out some news today. You know? You know, you know I just think about... Because I can now just think of like some people that I know that that has happened to them. Like mm -hmm. things have happened to them. Oh, like with house family too, sure. or, or jobs or, yeah. or things like that. You know, I think we're kind of starting off on a lighter note because we don't want to get into like the heavy stuff too seriously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like just throw you right in the furnace. Um, yeah. Like the applications of knowledge that went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What yeah. episode was that? Eight, I think. Eight. Okay. Right. Here's life. Here's yeah. the general fact. Oh, drop this it. is going to be one of those. The bomb this is going to be one of those episodes. Just saying. You know, we have like a pattern, you know, we do like uh, applications of knowledge, how we became friends. <laughs> okay, seriously, yeah. application friends, no kidding, application friends, here's the real stuff. That's yeah. where the magic happens. This is it. To anybody going through something out there that, you know, something, hap something happened that you did not expect and somehow you found your way onto this podcast first off, if it was a... Um, well, there's going to be two changes. We're talking, I think we're aiming more towards a negative change. Um, we can delve in a we, bit we more. We can touch into, on the positive maybe yeah, a bit later. So yeah, so for the negative ones, first off, um, whatever, I can't understand whatever it is that happened. Uh, if you found your way here, though, I'm assuming, hopefully, you are looking for some ways to to some guidance through it, and that's what we're going to try to mm -hmm. help you with today. So yeah. how how do you handle something so so big 
but whatever it is i think in whatever happens you know one version of a big event might be something that isn't so big to another person but mm. in general it's all the same thing it's big to us personally and that's right that's what matters so how would you go about i think i'd say there's this... we both about to almost talk at the same time i think that's about to happen Oh, really? yeah, I, I, I was just I gonna say a quote because this is a really this is a really good topic yeah i i'll just say a quote uh i'll just paraphrase. i can i can put it okay there's i there's some quote or something we can put it on later if we find it but mm-hmm. it's oh, i don't know if that applies see i i want to i want to make sure i give some good straight up yeah. well i mean a good quote's a good quote you know okay so this first kind of tip is to just whatever, however it's um, affecting you and whatever that's you're feeling, don't push it aside or just try to feel like happy. Like say, for instance, just a random example, hmm. like say someone from a family member passes away or something. Truly unfortunate. Um, some people I do know though, is, I think it was um, sophomore year, I had a friend in of high school, I had a friend that had someone like that who did pass away and it was oh no junior junior sorry because this is when i was taking my psych class and I was oh, yeah, stuff yeah. Stuff. um but they were going through the whole thing and the main I, main thing i noticed was that they were trying to from what it seemed like was trying to push that emotion aside and just try to be happy again like i'm just trying to be happy i'm just trying to be happy i'm just trying to be happy and this advice i actually heard from my grandpa uh which he heard from one of his friends was to not to just feel whatever it is that you're feeling and i know that sounds kind of kind of bland but what i told this person that you know i don't think you should try to just be happy i think you know there's a season for it but right now i think you really just need to first off for starters out of everything we're going to offer you guys uh, the first one would be just to feel whatever it is that you're feeling if you're feeling sad feel sad or you're feeling uh, something similar to that or mm-hmm. i don't know it arranges differently i can't a sad is kind of just a strict word to place on whatever it is but right. whatever it is don't push don't push whatever you know is stirring up in you aside just just feel whatever you need to feel don't push that down because it's always just going to come back up later and make the whole process harder there's a time to be happy and there's a time to feel the opposite or yeah i mean like that this is um like a following example you gave the example of uh, someone losing a loved one i knew of a uh, what you call it two parents who lost their uh, infant right two parents lost their infant right that's i mean i'm not a parent but i mean i've heard that that is probably one of the most unimaginable pains you can feel is having one of your children die before you right mm-hmm. especially at a, such a young age a doctor almost tried to get them on antidepressants two weeks after that incident. You know, so I know that in our society today, it's almost seen weird if you're grieving for a certain period of time, right? Mm-hmm. Because they just want you to kind of get back in the loop. Oh, you know, what was it called? Just over positivity mm-hmm. or something like that. It's just that mentality that people shouldn't should just do everything possible to not be sad. When sadness in and of itself or a negative unexpected change that brings about some negative emotion is still an emotion. It's still something to be felt, right? Just uh, just like you have happy days, sad days exist. And if you push them to the side, you're not really being genuine to yourself. That's disingenuous to yourself when you're kind of picking and choosing your own thought processes, you know, your own emotions. That is just a natural thing. You know, Mm -hmm. there are some things that we can manipulate about ourselves, but there are some things that are just natural, right? They're just sort of set in stone default there and we have to deal with them, right? Being sad is not a good feeling. Being angry is not a good feeling, but they're still feelings, right? Mm -hmm. They're still built in. They're hardwired into us, right? They're completely natural. They're there for a reason, right? So make sure that you don't discount that fact. You know, those parents, they they needed to grieve probably a little bit more than two weeks, you know, over a dead infant, you know? I mm-hmm. mean, that's your child right there. The whole point was because they wanted them to get back to work, 
you know yeah stop being depressed like take some time off work if that happens you know make sure that you're not sacrificing your well-being right for something Mm -hmm. temporal you know yeah because if you don't deal with yourself accordingly that can have very long-term ramifications even leading throughout your whole life you know so Mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're not letting these things build up or develop into worsening things you know i mean you want to make sure that you're just dealing with your emotions as they come so that you you know deal with them let the sadness come let the anger or happiness you know stay a while and then once it's you know stayed its while Mm -hmm. just yeah just let let it go away and let it move on you know yeah so like be yeah like don't try to shove whatever you're feeling aside because that might actually end up making it a lot worse Mm -hmm. and that isn't to say that you should live because again with everything in life there is a balance right so you don't want to live purely in an emotional state because then you're not you're not seeing things clearly when you're basing your actions purely based off of emotion you you can make some pretty dumb decisions you know Mm -hmm. i mean you want to make sure that you're balancing that with emotion and rationale right emotion is just your immediate feeling to something your rationale is a a built-in knowledge about how things really are right so i mean i'm trying to think of a a good example right off the top of my head but Mm -hmm. essentially what would be a good one so for example let's say that one of you one of your friends is moving right and you know but they're only moving for a certain time they're moving to a different state for let's say six months right mm-hmm. you're really good friends with this person they're moving to another state for about six months but you know that they're going to be back at the end of that six months your immediate emotion is sadness right because you're sad that you're not going to be able right. to see them for a certain amount of time But your rationale is telling you, oh, there's no need to be sad, you know, because we're going to see them again. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have these two clashing kind of things that are going on inside of you at the same time. And you have to make sure that they're balanced so that you can still feel and have empathy. But you're not so emotional that you break down when even the most minor of incidences occurs. But you want to have some level of mental fortitude that's going to prevent you from being really shook by these changes when they happen. Because mm-hmm. you don't want to be so shook that you can't recover, right? Right. Yeah. You know, and you just completely break down. You want to have some mental fortitude, but you also want to have empathy. So mm-hmm. I think finding a balance there is probably having, the best. Yeah, that's a good one. You know? Like have, utilizing that so it's not too much on yeah, one yeah, side. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Um, we have like a few more seconds left. We'll get back to the other tips and piece of yeah. us right after intermission. Enjoy this uh, very gruesome Gosh. intermission. <laughs> Mom, can I go play in the playground? Is that what you want? If the baby isn't safe, the playground isn't safe, which means your kids aren't safe. They won't be getting through that. It's your kid. Is that what you want? All right, well, so we hope that you enjoyed that intermission. I think it's one of two that are really kind of disturbing, but oh, we're we'll... gonna do two. No, I think one of the two, okay. but both of them, are... <laughs> yeah, yeah, with the yeah, baby, yeah, okay. I don't know if it's gonna be the, but you know, okay, we'll yeah, see. we might do the uh. Yeah, you know, you guys will hey, you know, know what? by the time you see this. You guys know better than us. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so we just talked Second about topic. um, we just talked about how to handle them. Basically, just be present in your emotions and just mm. take it really one thing at a time. And the best thing, That's honestly, best is to get. make sure that you're prepared. So if right. if you're in a good spot in life, best thing you can do for yourself is build up some mental fortitude to you know mm-hmm. not even be phased in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are our takes. Yeah. 
So, of course, just side note, always it's different for everybody, but that's True. just in general, like the found, like the border, the bedrock. I said that's a good baseline. Yeah, you know? baseline, baseline. That's it. Okay. And Adrian, you want to talk about their next? Yeah, so jumping? we kind of broke this up in about three chunks. So we already went through the first one. This is the second, and that is the importance of sudden life changes. Mm-hmm. And I think probably it's kind of intertwined with the second topic or the third technically. Mm-hmm. And that is that you can learn so much from them. You know, yeah. when, when something seriously kind of shocking happens, usually that's a pretty good opportunity for, for personal growth. And most of our personal growth happens when negative things in our life occur, you know? So mm-hmm. it, it's hard to grow and develop serious personality traits when things are okay, because nothing's really challenging you when it, everything's good and you know the sun's out and all that you know mm-hmm. i mean you, you you're certainly enjoying life but you're probably not being challenged you know mm-hmm. in a good enough way that you're having exponential growth the best growth usually occurs when we are in probably our darkest times or just when a sudden thing happens and we have to react yeah right because probably one of the biggest um factors when you have you know, such a sudden change is how you react to it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think one of the most important things we can understand and gain from a sudden change in life or sudden change of pace is to see how we react and determine whether or not we liked how we reacted or not. And if you didn't like how you reacted, then you should work on that, change it. But if you did, build upon it, you know? So Mm -hmm. I think it's a good time for uh, self-reflection. So it's really like an, it's a great opportunity for, an internal like introspection yeah it's an opportunity that i think should be taken of course it can be difficult if it's difficult you know if you're going through a difficult time but usually retrospectively especially it's good to look back at difficult times or just uh, like we're talking about we're mostly talking about bad sudden changes i Mm -hmm. think we're going to touch on the positive ones in a little while but for now as far as the negatives are concerned you really want to make sure that you're taking it every advantage possible to learn from that scenario and Mm -hmm. to gain some wisdom from it because that's going to help you better the next time something like that occurs Mm -hmm. right so you're constantly through life building your levels of wisdom and mental fortitude so by the time you know you, you get older and life's problems start to have more weight to them yeah. You know how to better deal with them. Right now, our life problems are not the same as someone who is, say, in their 30s or 40s, right? They're probably a lot smaller. But mm-hmm. at this age, it's, it's good to learn from uh, your own personal mistakes or just things that happen in your life to prepare for those times when you are in your 30s or 40s or even 50s, you know? So mm-hmm. I think that's that's where the main importance of them lies is yeah. in their their educational value so i think that they have so like to rephrase i keep touching this to rephrase yeah. that well mine's one that makes the weird sounds here watch yours doesn't do that yeah <laughs> they're like what the for the people that are listening to this on spotify oh yeah they're like going? what are they doing just doot. something's yeah. wrong with your device so I, I thought you had a good that is a good point that the importance lies not not always entirely only rephrase let me rephrase it not only on what has happened Mm. just in general but it's also fairly important towards taking the steps needed when it comes to figuring out more of yourself i thought Mm. you had a really good point when you said you know when when you talked about how you reacted to some things yeah and you know how we can kind of apply that to other things that might happen in the oh, future. Yeah. I thought that was a really good, really good point that you made about that. So yeah. I just wanted to tell you about that because I thought oh. that was really, I thought that was really insightful. Thanks. Appreciate wow. it. We got a walking, talking fortune cookie here. We guys. got a. I saw this funny uh, comedy panel once. This guy was like, I feel "Like you're the source, and need Siri to talk to this dude." He was like, pulled out his phone, just like figure his out iPhone. what he was saying. I don't know. Whatever <laughs> phones of Siri, I don't. But iPhone. iPhone. Yeah. Dude, so I'm sorry. come on, bro. Look, this is not an iPhone. This is yeah, an iPhone. Yeah, but you have Google. 
All right, look, Google, look, calm no, go so down. Far. Look, I think everybody is, just we're getting down. mad at each other again. This is just a very this is this is a big problem as of the past six or seven yes. or eight years. Indeed. So we yeah. talked about let's let's recap. <laughs> we talked about <laughs> we oh, talked man. about how to handle them, which yeah. is being present and kind of taking it taking it at your own pace. Right. The importance of how to handle them. Mm-hmm. Which is essentially not only on the event itself, but uh, did you hear that? I did. <laughs> that wasn't all... me or you, was it? No. Okay. But also a chance to, after taking some time, to really just looking inward and figuring out more about because a lot of a lot of the things in life that happen that we don't expect, it's only then that teaches us more about who we are as a person and where our strengths where our strengths lie right and weaknesses so I, right you know you had a really again a good point about you know right. it teaches us about inwardly things as far as uh, strength and weaknesses go you want to make sure that you're always because you are generally speaking your largest critic right yeah. if you have mm-hmm. uh, a good mentality some people just don't give a crap about what they're doing you know and usually generally that can get them into some pretty bad places if you're not at least somewhat critical of yourself But most of us are pretty critical, and that's good to an extent. But you you have to learn how to look at your weaknesses objectively. And even when you make a mistake, you have to be able to call yourself out on it, because not everyone will. There are some instances in life where someone's going to call you out, right, for something that you did. But there are other instances in life where no one's going to call you out. So either no one's going to call you out, and you're going to continue, or you are. So you kind of have to have that mentality that you're going to have some self-accountability for your weaknesses and your strengths. You want to make sure that you correct your weaknesses and you want to expound upon your strengths. And what that's going to do is that's going to make you a much stronger person mentally. And if you're a strong person mentally, spiritually even, that's going to trickle down to physically and materially, right? Because your mentality will get you good places, right? And good places generally come with good physicality good material life i mean it's just the mentality gets you farther than you think you know and i think the biggest problems that at least in our country that are prevalent have to do with the mentality more so than the physicality Mm -hmm. you know especially during um covid and stuff like that so that's like a good backbone like that's a good your your mentality everything that happens internally is your backbone pretty much you know you i mean your physical form that's just an extension of your mind pretty much this is where everything that this does happens you know so you want to make sure that this is the strongest part you know i mean having a good physicality is good it's healthy right it's beneficial for you and i don't think that you should discount that but you should make sure that this is probably number one in your list of Mm -hmm. you know love yourself yeah but not too much because you want to make sure that you're not you know making mistakes on yourself like treat yourself like how you would treat um a friend yeah like if a friend was going through a similar thing and and you're kind of a little bit lost as to where to go um if you're in that situation how would you treat a friend or what advice would you give to a friend or how would you your friend how would you want your friend to feel during Mm -hmm. whatever yeah pretty much for example Adrian, if Christian. he was going, if his computer broke or something, and he really liked his computer. Oh no! No, no, actually, no, no. If I my computer it'd broke, it'd be tragic. And I didn't know how to feel about that. And it, I was just thinking, okay, if Adrian's broke, what would I tell him? Yeah. I would tell Adrian. Adrian, look, it's just a computer, bro. It's just a computer. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah. We probably Our, couldn't make these podcasts. You're right. Be okay. So it'd be harder. But yeah. if more realistic me might say, look, yeah. I understand that that took a lot of time to make projects right. and you did a lot of stuff on yeah. that. But you know what? Hard times. Good stuff comes from there, not there. There right? you go. If you really want it, you'll find, if you can, if you, here's what, here, See, I'm going to tell you Yeah. The really but, good stuff comes from here, but the best stuff comes right. from there. Okay, uh, that's uh, <laughs> counterintuitive. I'm sorry. Whoa, I had to uh, say it. All our I'm younger sorry. audiences out there. Yeah, well, they're doomed anyways. It's cool. 
Jinkies. Cool. Yeah, so just be... Oh, boy. Just be, be easy on yourself for the most of it. Don't be too hard on yourself and realize, take a step back sometimes and just see that, you know, just take a step back. Yeah, that's all you need for making judgments when you're happy, sad, or anything, or anything like that. Just for yeah. with anything, just go in with a clear mind and just take some time. You deserve it. You, and if you don't you know how it. to have a clear mind, we have podcast episodes all about that. So we do, we do, we going do. about the mindset and stuff like that, applications of knowledge, how to deal with information and apply it. Oh. Yeah, pretty yeah, good. That. Pretty good. <laughs> okay <laughs> look everybody calm down okay okay i'm just gonna be honest with you guys um we're breaking since there's three <laughs> sections there's three questions we're breaking it up and yeah. this is an hour so 20 minutes we talk about one which was well, we're gonna how have to handle a certain them. section at the ending that's probably gonna be like seven what does that mean like with the verse of the day and stuff like that we're probably gonna have like seven oh okay so should we jump right into the next one i think so i think that we've kind of i don't want to you know beat a dead horse too much three I think. okay you're right there's three sections 20 20 20 that's how we're going we finished the first one how to handle them the, the worst year them. ever 2020 2020 20, 20. uh yeah this is what and we can learn from them the so. last one ooh, it's been on my phone the last one is Yikes. what can we learn what can we learn from them do you want yeah. to go first, Adrian? Or? Yeah, I think we kind of expounded upon it a little bit, but I guess this is think where we deep. can get into the meat of think things. Think deeper. Come on. I'm trying. Dang it. What but does yeah. this think under the under? Yeah, but no. in all seriousness, what you can learn from any sudden change in life is that things are not set in stone for the most part, right? You can't plan or expect everything to happen the way it's going to happen so i think it is a humbling thing when something uh, you know goes wrong in life because it, it, i think it makes you realize where you where you really are you know you're not at the center of the universe you can't really make everything bend to your will and you're kind of just along for the ride as far as life is concerned you you have a certain level of um, ability and impact right but it's never going to be to the level of the grand scale of the world so I don't care how powerful or rich or amazing you are, and you could not have stopped COVID, right? For example, I'm just using that because that's what we're going through right now. But I mean, you know, we're limited, and I think that can teach us how limited we are, but also point out that we still can make impacts on places that matter. For example, your mindset, people around you, how to deal with just the most basic I guess, functions of living on a more deeper level so that you can live a fuller life, you know, based on your own collective wisdom and understanding of previous events that probably didn't go your way, but in the end went to your benefit because you know how to handle yourself now, you know? So I think that's probably the number one thing you can, you can take away or learn apart from what has already been said, but do you kind of have... So it's in... So your idea is humbling yourself on that idea. It humbles you and humbling. it because it, it shows you that you're not fully in control. And I think when people realize that, they can probably kind of be like, oh, okay, you know, yeah. there's a bit more but, uh, to the world than me. So let me mm -hmm. sort of learn from what I can from the world Adrian, and, and better yourself Adrian, based Adrian. on that. Look, I'm sorry. I'm so glad you said that because that leads me directly into my point i think i just know your password now you've just typed it in so <laughs> yeah. many times uh yeah. my look adrian said this perfectly here's the thing folks i'm gonna get real with you for a second get real anything can happen to anybody at any given time true this life doesn't wait for anybody people some people think life is unfair and you know, yeah blah, 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 blah. it is like here's the right. thing life is neutral life is life but right. how you perceive it and how you go about the changes that happen determine what kind of art you're gonna make hmm. uh figurative art here's the thing here's the other thing as if art weren't figurative enough if this we have is more figurative, figurative art. More in the sense that you thought picasso was abstract life you is haven't abstract. met life here's the thing guys the beauty is in knowing that nothing anything can happen so mm -hmm. i don't want to over explain this other than just saying just cherish 
everything you have. Cherish. That's a good point. Cherish that, you know, kind of being grateful for everything. You know, you watching this right now, your eyesight works at any given moment. You know, the bee can probably like sting both your eyes out or something. That would be, that'd be really unfortunate. I'm just saying, hey, that, that could happen. I'm sure the guy that oh, yeah. that's happened to, he probably never thought, or she never thought that would have happened, but that mm. would have happened. But that's the thing. Like that anything happen could to happen girl. to that would anybody. Happen to, a guy. to a guy? That would happen. Like, I know you said like he or she. Okay, well, I'm the bee would go for the guy. Neutral, Adrian. No, we but but let's be real. Who would get stung by a bee in both eyes? Who'd be dumb enough <laughs> okay. to do that? Okay, I would get stung just for yeah. all the ladies. Don't worry, I'll get stung by a bee in both eyes. Wow, you just wooed I'm j- look, females hey, hey, the hey, world hey, look, over. We're we're trying to get gender neutral here. We're they're applying this information for everybody. Yeah, everybody. Your mentality is the same. Life, anything can happen at a given moment. Basically, yeah. anything anyway. can happen. What you have right now can be instantly taken away. Mm-hmm. So your loved ones, tell them you love them. Tell them you, you appreciate it. Hey, friends, tell them that you appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate appreciate you. you. So you're set up. Appreciate what you have. We have appreciate a light. Appreciate what you don't have. Appreciate that ex that never came back or that wife. Or, oh. Sorry, I'm making this gender neutral. Hey, I, I, that's the There's no gender that neutralness on your okay, questions. Your spouse or, or oppor- job opportunity that you left. Yikes. Hey, maybe they want you back. Oh, that's a bad example. I'm overdoing this. If Perhaps, you take away anything, make it concise. Make everything something to be grateful for. That's good. Your eyesight, whatever's happening, because at any given moment, it could be taken away. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm. I talk too much. So. Like Ray Charles. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just giving an example. <laughs> I just yeah. had to make sure that that was that was known. You know, if you don't oh, wait, like that's Ray Charles' a, music, he's blind, right? Hey, he's blind. Okay. When Look Blind made great music. Look at him. Actually, is he dead? Actually, about. yeah, I think he's dead. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. I'm sorry, guys. I had a, I had a really good like feeling about that, but then he's like, oh, I just realized he's probably <laughs> dead. That was rough. You know what our problem is? I think we talk too much. <laughs> you know, at the si- okay. No, no, no. Not that, that we is, talk too much. No. Is that we sometimes we overdo it because we I think because it's because we want people to understand the point we're trying to make, so we overcompensate. Right, right, right. But the thing is, I could also see that as a benefit because this is a podcast. Right. So the more we talk, <laughs> no, the better. It is. So we're okay. We're at a conundrum here, people. We need help. All right. Look, we, we need got, uh, When do we start this? We have about. Like, yeah, we have a few more seconds. We have a few more seconds until the world itself explodes. Yeah. So what did, (laughs) what did you know? You want to just you want to just in one sentence say what I said because I I don't even know what I just said right now. Appreciate things because you are everything is pretty much an uncertain, and you should take advantage and cherish things before Mm. they may be unexpectedly taken away from you. Yeah. And live with that mindset. Yeah, that's a great. It's a great way to say that. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm See, really, I appreciate you know, that. I Thank you. You. <laughs> you, said that, <laughs> you said that in the midst of a yawn. That was... No. No. Look what you've done. That's another thing. We're going to be talking about pet pe- yeah, peeves. Oh, pet, my oh God. shoot. I don't want that Uh-oh, episode I to happen. I don't want that episode to happen. Pet Guys, peeves. it's happening. No. 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 I mean, it's that no. time of hour where I don't know what to think or say. <sighs> On a podcast, <laughs> dang it! All right, we have about a uh, we have about you want to oh sorry <laughs> sorry guys I'm sorry okay um, oh man let me just I think you know I think it's best to take a minute sometimes you know <laughs> this is going downhill we had such a good we have to start all over again we start uh, I guess we just wanted to sort of recap on what it is we've talked about so far so that we can sort of get an overview summary for those who just decided to skip to a certain part <laughs> in the video. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go over the three sort of main points that we went over, our advice on them, and then we will get into the verse of the day and other stuff. So, Christian, I think, who opened the first topic? Uh... <laughs> Christian's sorry. going through a little bit of a <laughs> midlife no, crisis it's at what the you moment. Said, what you said. Wait, what did I say? You said to skip to the, <laughs> end of the video. <laughs> Uh, I you don't... know what people do people are like just click 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 okay. just all the way throughout the timeline. <laughs> okay, did you choose the last one or did I choose it? Uh, mm. That is an excellent question. Do we have a coin? Do we have a coin? There's a coin like right over there. Oh yeah, you want no, me to get, get it? it? No, I'll get it. I'll get okay. it. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. Cool, cool, cool. While Christian's away. Uh oh. 
We have secrets to expose. Oh, dang it. On another episode. It is cold. Oh, it's by the window. That's why. I'm uh, I'm Tails. You're Tails? Okay. Okay, so you started. Okay. So you picked it. What's that? You picked the verse, right? No, 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 not the verse. We're 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 going through the um. The the summary. I thought we flipped that for who explains the summary. I thought we were doing it for the verse. No, no, we do the summary first and then the verse. Of the oh, okay. So you want me to do the summary? Sure. <laughs> oh, I was like, why are we going? <laughs> All right. I already have the verse. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is probably, okay. this is great. So uh, we talked about how to... Oh, man. <laughs> we talked about how to handle... Str- uh, not stress. <laughs> how to handle life changes. That was another episode. You're right. Uh, life changes how to handle them basically take it one thing at a time yeah at your own pace and just really be present with whatever you're feeling the second True. one the importance of them basically adrian illustrated of how it's a great opportunity for retrospect introspection sorry ooh, introspection yeah to see you know kind of, it's a great opportunity to learn more about yourself through these whatever mm-hmm. happens right then the last one finally is what we can learn from them basically it's a it's a whole concept of Making yourself more humble and appreciating everything for how it is. Because Sorry, you got really into that <laughs> for a second. Appreciate everything because it can be gone like yeah. that. You know, hey, who knows? Maybe like tomorrow the world will end. We just don't know it. We I'm didn't down. know when COVID was I'm down. ending. Yeah, we're good. But that's it. And one yeah. final note is that guys, whatever you're going through. You know, people, all the YouTubers like to say, oh, contact us, contact us. I'm here for you. Of course, well, we're glad to help, but we Email want, us we right want to make sure now. that you guys have like a more meaningful, right. if you yeah. guys do choose to somehow reach out to us. Of course, we'd, <laughs> I'm just acting like you. If you guys <laughs> are going through anything at all, I mean, our Insta is always open. Instagram's always open, um, and also Dealing our email that. is always. Or if you guys be... want to talk about topics that might help you in specific, oh yeah, with some things, of course, yeah. reach out to us. This is for you guys. Yeah, Leaving... we we do this podcast largely in part for the the listeners. Mm-hmm. We want to make sure that we are doing our best to at least give you some advice, if nothing else, that that you get out of the video, some entertainment and a little bit of education. You know, we want to make sure that this podcast isn't just you know, random noise on the internet. We want to make sure that you guys are actually gaining something from our content. So if there's a topic that you think we would be qualified, quote unquote, to talk about, you know, Mm -hmm. just send it our way, email us, let us know on Instagram, just reach out to us in any way possible. On our website, we have a whole uh, contact list. And then that, of course, the website's always going to be linked uh, in the bottom of these videos. It'll be there. You just got to look for it. Yeah. And then on our channel, uh, I can even probably put it on the screen. Uh, we, our email is 55purefilms at gmail.com. The, uh, all the letters are lowercase. And I mean, that that's how Sophie contacted us. And that's how we did. Mm-hmm. I mean, that led Hi. to a whole string of episodes. So make sure that you're reaching out to us. We want to make sure that we're helping you. And yeah. And thank you guys so much. Because we've been getting a lot of feedback. So many of you guys have been reaching out to us and telling us what you guys want us to talk about. If only that were true. We've been blowing up, guys. I don't think we can handle how many comments and suggestions we're getting per day. 200,000 views and is subscribers our... is uh, not what we have. Anyway. But that's all good. Reach out to us. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I feel like we always like Dang come it. across as like very desperate. You know what? I wonder how there's some people. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, Ooh. can I just be honest real quick? Yeah. Look, we keep telling you guys to reach out to us. You can. We're gonna make these regardless. This but is true. But if you want us to help you in any way, or if you're thinking, oh my gosh, these guys aren't talking about what I want to talk about. You know what you can do? Is- <laughs> I like that voice that you, <laughs> you know, gave. You know what you can do? Reach out to us, and we'll be glad to talk about it within reason. Pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. All right. Sweet. Shake and bake. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. See that? That's you guys did that. Thank you yeah. guys so much. Wow. Reach Stop out to us. We love mic you guys. So sorry. Much, God, I'm sorry. Oh. Thank you guys, Adrian. Yeah. You thank you. To... I will gladly give the verse of the day to all of those wondering what that will be. But we hope that uh, this episode helped you out. Yes, we do. Um. 
so yeah, uh, this verse is going to be Ecclesiastes, uh, I think, what did I see? I saw two verses. 3-1. Uh, so that's Ecclesiastes 3.1 and then Ecclesiastes, what was it? 3.8. Oh, yeah, I just saw it right now and I thought that it was good. Two. Sort of... This is our first one with two. Here we go. All right. You there? Yep. Okay. I know it. Ecclesiastes 3.1. Action. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And then if we go down a little bit to at least three. here, uh, to 3.8. A time to love and a time to hate, a time to war and a time of peace. Pretty much there are times for everything. There's a time for every uh, emotion, a time for every feeling, a time for every circumstance, a time for every predicament. There's always a season for fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, no matter what you're going through, that's not an unnatural thing. And I think that's probably one of the main points about when we talk about unexpected changes in life is that unexpected changes, ironically enough, are to be expected. That's what life is. You know, life is just a string of things that happen. Sometimes we know they're going to happen. Sometimes we don't. But either way, it just keeps going forward. So the best way for you to handle it is to keep going forward with it and take away what you can uh, as the ride goes along. So, yeah. That was deep. That was good. Well, this is kind of... This is one of the more thought-provoking episodes. I know we sometimes have fun ones, serious ones. We like to have a, a balance of both. Uh, so please let us know in the comments of this video if you watched it. If you just watched it, you know, leave a comment down below. Please tell you don't us. even have to like just say anything. Tell just us that you watched. You can even just comment like a type period. dot dot dot. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, That's stop it. Stop a period. That's it. We just actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Everyone who watches this video, just comment a period, and then later on, uh, when this channel like kind of continues throughout the year people will just see that comment section of just periods, <laughs> just periods. and they won't know what's <laughs> yeah that's a, yeah do that just comment a period. do that right Literally, now. it's like the easiest thing to do but you know if you're one of those people who skips around in the videos you're probably not going to get to this portion so if you skip around you know. then does that still count as a view yeah but like how far does it go until it counts as a view a second I one think. second are well, you serious yeah that i think so view? but what you call it on the youtube studio you can see the, i can see the analytics of the people who watch our videos and sort of the time retention and you can see right. how much they retained of the video the watch time yeah right but it still so, counts as a view though right it still counts as a view as are long you as you serious? click on it yeah 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 oh my yeah that means if you clicked on a video that you regretted watching, you're still a view, and you supported that channel. So just clicking on it counts as view. Well, as long as it loads up the little... Right, and, and it plays then, one, yeah, at plays. least one second. Yeah. Dang. Okay, scratch that. Okay, listen. Everybody. <laughs> Wait, scratch? Send, how much? I mean, like the whole podcast? No, no, no. Like, no. Okay. 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 okay, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Look, 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 look. Guys, this is, I didn't know this. Send this podcast, please, to someone, and just dare them... To watch the first second. But no more. But no more. Ooh, that's a good idea. Ooh. We'll fall for that. Man, we are just coming right. up with so many good S ideas. Are you serious? One second? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, if you you viewed the video, you have seen it. What? Right? <laughs> share this. I didn't know it was that easy. Share this with as many people as possible. Actually, just share it anyways. But like, don't just share it randomly. Share, share it with someone who <laughs> share it with someone who you think is actually gonna benefit from our content. Uh, so that they, maybe they can come around the next time for future videos. And as always, we appreciate everyone who watches. Thank Love you so you. much. And thank yeah. you guys for watching. Reach out to us. We'll catch you guys next time on The Art of Awesomeness. This is cool, dude, because we got episode 10. That means that we're in double digits. But the zero after the one means. Oh, does that? Doesn't count. Yikes. Dang it. Jankies. <laughs> Eh, 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 eh. またよが出れば終わかれ夢は時まぼしに